All right, now I'm going to talk about Gears of War, which is another shooter that's really fun. Um, I don't know. I like the characters in this. I don't know why they're not endearing at all, but I think it's partially because this is the this is like the working man's hero. This is the regular soldier, the 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 guy who's gonna, you know be conscripted or something. I don't know. It, it's just really good. And the um, the chemistry between Dom and Marcus sounded a lot. That's, that sounds weird. No, the, the teamwork and camaraderie between uh, Dom and Marcus it really is probably felt a lot better if you go out and play with a friend. I haven't played this through with a friend. I haven't even played it at all with a friend. But, all in all, this is a great co-op game, and the campaign is about the planet Sarah and the Locust, who are these big old monster boogeyman things. And I liked them better when they were boogeymen, not like in Gears of War 2 where they're actually given a purpose. I liked it when they were fighting, you know, just monsters, but they didn't know what they were doing, they just were animals to the humans. Um, because that gave them a kind of were all alone in this thing, kind of feel to it. But that's not really what this is about. This is about uh, taking cover with your buddies and shooting stuff. This is the evolution of Contra. Um, this is uh, definitely the evolution of Contra, but it's it's mm, it's not a lot like Contra at all because running and gunning will get you killed more often than not. Of course, I played through it first on Hardcore. I would recommend going through first on Casual and picking up tags and stuff. Anyway, uh, story's really good. It's about how the light mass bomb and how they're going to blow up half the planet. <laughs> uh, story's not bad, um, or really good, but it, depending on what chapter you're on or act you're on. The visual style is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I thought it would all be muddy brown, but it's a little more like Gears of War 2 than I thought. But I like Gears of War 2 a little better in the visual department. Now, multiplayer, um, I can't comment on a lot because I haven't played a lot of it, and I don't necessarily like it. It's I, I suck at it right now, and I don't think I'll have a chance to get good because the community is kind of dead right now. Excuse me. Um, and so... I don't know if I'll ever enjoy the multiplayer, but it's not too bad. It's more of a team thing, so if you like lots of friends or can, you know, coordinate with strangers really easily, it's great fun. Really great fun. And you, there are a couple modes. One's assassination, and that's basically leader deathmatch. And it's not exactly a deathmatch, but it's a kill the leader mode. Um, then there's ex execution, which is where you have to go up and kill the, your guy up close and personal who you downed. Then there's Warzone, which is just a basic team deathmatch. Then there's Annex, which is kind of like, I don't know, it, it's Conquest? Battlefield? Maybe? Uh, or Territories from Halo 3? Either way, it's... Uh, Good multiplayer if you can communicate as a team and be effective. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Just not for me, I guess. Um, Chainsaws rock. Yeah. They are very awesome, but unfortunately, you don't get to use them that much. Now I'm going to talk about the story a little more because I... I didn't get a good grasp on the story the first, first time through, and I still don't have that much of a grasp on it. Um, you're busted out of jail, uh, to help with the COG who are on their last... I mean, it looks like there are only six guys on the planet, but in Gears of War 2, there's, like, a whole New York City full of people. It's kind of weird. And... So you go, you're, uh, going to save Alpha Squad at first, who has the Sonic Cask... or... Resonance cask. No, I'm thinking of Ghostbusters. Um, they have a 
sonic resonator, I think. Um, and they plan to use it to map the tunnels of the locust, which they will then feed the data into the um, light mass bomb so they can blow up half the planet. And as Yahtzee said, blow up half the planet and uh, get the locust, basically. It didn't work, and get it, so, you know, don't worry about that. There's a sequel. This is a major... I'm going to put spoilers in the uh, description. So, um... Uh, and then, once you get down there, you fail. Yeah, the sonic resonator fails. So you have to go to the Phoenix Estate, where apparently Marcus Phoenix's father has mapped the entire uh, planet Sarah, the tunnels under it. Kind of um, out of the blue. I would like a prequel of some kind, whether it be in book, comic book, or video game, or movie form, of Marcus Phoenix and his dad. That'd be cool. Um, but otherwise, the story's... Nah. I don't know. It's not my kind of thing. But it's not it's certainly not a bad cheer and it's great to play with friends and if you don't care about story then yeah, go go right ahead. Um and if you really have a lot of friends, get this game and Xbox Live and go and play it because you will have fun. Let's do this.